Hi there guys, so in this video we will create a we will create a server in AWS and we're we're gonna install a VPN server, the WireGuard VPN server on it. So let's get started. Alright, now logged in into our AWS console. I'm and you can change your uh, region over here. Uh, I'm now in Frankfurt, uh, the AU Central, which is uh, the most nearest me. But you can choose whatever you want. Uh, so in here we can go into the EC1 and type at the EC sorry not one as two EC2 that means the virtual machine you can create your virtual machine over there and now you can click the launch an instance over there all right so in name section I will just say wireguard uh, VPN and and here you can choose your operating system um, I will suggest you to use the Amazon Linux but you can use whatever you want uh, and free you can use Ubuntu, Red Hat, Seuss, Debian or Amazon Linux I'm just choosing it uh, the architecture is okay um, you can choose your uh, instance type over here I'm just I'm just using the free tier eligible because it's kind of enough for a VPN server for just home usage and key pair, you can you can create your new key pair over here. I'm saying the um, one guard. This will allow us to log in your server, wouldn't it? So I'm just creating a key pair. Uh, please don't delete that, otherwise you can't log in from SSH. I will show you how you can connect. You know what? You don't have to connect from SSH. I will I will show you. All right, and create security group. You have to allow this and allow SSH traffic from anywhere. We don't need HTTP or HTTPS since we're then gonna turn this thing into the uh, server, web server. You can choose up to 30 gigabytes of uh, memory, hard memory. Uh, I will just use it, but 8 gigabytes is also okay. But it also it says you can use up to 750 hours in every month in your first year. So let's go to launch instance and the AWS will create us. Is that a good event? Yeah. All right. So in here, I can click into here or we can go to instances. I have another server. This is actually, um, this is our server now, the WireGuard VPN. And let's click to that. So in here, this is our IP address. But this can be changed after you can. Um, reboot instance it will change every time that you, you reboot so uh, for that we have to we have to allocate a allocate a public IPv4 address for doing that we are going in here the network and security section the elastic IP and here I already allocated one for my another VPN server and for my daily usage but now we'll create it you can just create the allocate button and now we created a new uh, Elastic IP address. So we have to associate this Elastic IP address into our instance. And as you might see, this is our VPN servers here. And you can just choose the private IP address, it's just appear over here. And now within that, we can re associate our Elastic IP address into our server. So let's go back to our server. And here, it changed their IP address. So, firstly, first, we have to allow the VPN ports into our AWS server. For doing that, I'm clicking the um, security section, and in here, there is some uh, secure launch reader over here. I'm clicking that and edit inbound rules. Now, we can change our settings. So as you might see, the SSH port is open to everywhere. So uh, we're going to use the UDP because WireGuard uses UDP protocol. You don't have to really think about that if you don't really uh, relate with that much stuff. So we are setting to 51820 uh, port because this is the WireGuard uh, uses. And we are allowing to anywhere. I'm clicking the save rules. Now we can connect our server. So there's two ways that you can connect. 
uh, once you enter your uh, page for your virtual machine, you can click connect and there is AC AC2 instance connect section over there. You can just click connect and it will be happy appear over here. And now we are in our server. The second way, actually there's a lot of way to do that, but you can also go to your SSH client, uh, copy that code or open your CMD. Uh, we you download it, it might see um, this is our wireguard.pem and you can just paste the code, sorry. And sorry, this is one. And I'm saying yes. And now you connect it also. But we don't need to worry about that. We could just use the normal connect section over there. So in this section, we have to install our Amazon Linux. So I already have a notepad for that. You can find this notepad in the description. And now we will install the WireGuard on our system. Um, There you go. Tap yes. And now we installed. Um, you can see we installed the wire guard. All right. Now we have to generate your uh, private and public key. But you know what? You don't really worry about that. Now we can create our public and private key for our server and WireGuard setup. So I'm just copying and uh, just pasting our code over here. This will bring, generate us uh, private and public keys over here. So uh, now I'm typing the Etsy WireGuard and WireGuard zero that config. This is our first config for our server. This will be us. Uh, I mean the default. So I'm pasting this code. Uh, there is our uh, config for that. So uh, in the first section, we are setting the uh, Tano one uh, IP address is going to be our IP address for the server. And in the client section, we will be set up our clients. So uh, we will get back there. So in the private key section, uh, we will paste our private key over here. So uh, I'm saving with Control X. Yes, enter, and now I'm typing cat private key, and this is our private key. I'm copying it, open it back again, and going over there. You could just uh, private key, full start. There you go. I don't really know how could I delete this line, so I will just yeah, press the escape button. All right now we paste it. Uh, we could just say yes. Now, uh, what are we gonna do next? All right, now we have to enable our IP forwarding for our, uh, you know, just just for our VPN. So I'm typing this code, this will allow us, and we have to save it. And now we saved our settings into there. Now we can start our WireGuard service, but there is one thing that we have to do for we have to do first. Uh, this is kind of related to the IP tables. You don't really have to think about it. So in here, um, there is posting down commands for that. So in here, we are setting our ENX zero. But we go. All right. So what I link show, uh, you can see your, you can see your um, networking devices, and it says the NX zero, and this is true with our command. If it's it, sh it can be the ETH zero that you have to change this over here and over here as well, but it's same now. So I'm just going back again to our config, going up there. And go like that. And modifying, yes. Now we have to uh, we have to install a client into our client. 
I'm in my windows, so I'm just going down there on that part, go and typing the WireGuard download. There's some other installation sections over here that you can choose over for a system, but now I'm using Windows, so I'm just going down there. there and it just installs really fast. There you go. So in uh, in WireGuard section, we can go there and add empty tunnel. Now it will generate us a public key that we will use. Under the section, there's an interface section also, same as the server. So in that section, what we're gonna do? Uh, we will create peer and sphere. You know what? Just first, let's copy it. Copy the public key, going down there, and in peer section, let's delete this section and paste in our public key. Paste in our client public key. Now I can just save it again. Now we can create, um, we can start up our server. For that, I'm typing the uh, system step uh, enable and start. Fuck. What is the problem? Why? Why are you doing that? Oh, oh. All right. There is some problem because we didn't install the IP tables. Now, so yeah, install IP tables. There we go. And now it should be start. And now we can check sudo vg show. And as you might see, it started. Now, now we have to get our uh, client to connect the server. So, in our WireGuard section, uh, then first of you have to specify the address for our interface. So, as you might see, the only allowed IP is for that. The O. 10.002. So we are just typing it. So 32. Now for the peer section, I'm copying this. And now this is the public key of our server, which actually we could uh, see it with cat public key. We can copy it and paste it over here. Now the server IP, the server IP, our server IP is now this. And the port is actually specified in the listening port. Now also we are allowing any IP that any traffic into this VPN, which is in most of cases good. Block on tunnel traffic, uh, you can enable this. And person in keep alive and it's uh, something to technically, I guess. So we can generate the name of um, server fun for as in violet. Just Frankfurt. And so make sure that you actually restart your service to make the changes happening. For doing that, so the system CTL of restarts vg click at vg0. Now our changes are happened. Also, you can you can set your DNS over here or just DNS. I'm choosing Cloudflare 111. This will be good. Otherwise, there could be some issues about um, connecting to DNS. So I'm just saving it. Now uh, we can activate. Yeah, to check that, um, we just go and what is my IP address? And it's actually says Frankfurt, but yeah, we connected to our Amazon, Amazon WireGuard server, as you might see. There could be some little issues, but uh, it could be work. So let, let's let's do a speed test. Speed test.
and we got 8 megabit per second. So my internet is 100 megabit, but there could be some somebody just watching some YouTube videos upstairs. So this is good. So that's it, guys. Thank you for watching that video. I think that's a great thing to uh, generate your own web server. And I think that everybody should do. You can just use part of VPN, but the IP address is changing. And if you don't want to be watched by ferals or stuff like that, you can just create your wireguard server just like that. Thank you for watching the video. I, f I hope if you find that video really helpful, you can just drop a like or, you know, get a subscribe server or blah, blah. All right. See ya.